Alright guys, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys my how I'm healing up and everything. So talked about a tiny bit on my last video, but it wasn't for ton of me tucks. Anyways, I went to the doctors the other day, um, six week checkup after my tummy tuck, muscle repair, lipo of the stomach and flanks. Um, and she just kind of looked at my scission, told me to keep massaging because I still have some lumps. Kind of like she said is where they sewed and there's like, sounds gross, but fatty tissue in there. And she said just keep rubbing it. So I have a massager. I've been rubbing it and it's starting to soften up a little bit. And then I got my um, cream from the doctors. It's a reconstruction, reconstructive cream specifically for scars and things and burns. So it was kind of expensive. It was like $45 for a tub of it. But I'm going to use that. And she said after that, she said, if, or even if I didn't want to buy that, she said I could just use vitamin E oil. Um, I could put my like Mederma or something like that on it. But she said the outside is healed pretty good. There's still a few thinner spots, but she said because of stretch marks, to wait a couple more weeks before I go swimming, which was kind of already too late because I went swimming. I looked it up online and said after four weeks. So, but it, that's okay. Um... So I'm feeling pretty good. I still get tired sometimes, feel like I need to sleep. She said to be careful if I'm lifting something or turning a certain way and it hurts just not to do it. She's like, still give myself some more time. She said, because the outside might look healed, but the inside has to re-heal, you know, has to he everything has to heal up and the, all the veins and the, like, not veins, but all the stuff has to rewire itself basically inside. So I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm still swelling a lot during the day. Not Each day it's a little tiny bit less. I need to lose some weight, my stum my stomach, upper stomach area. So I'm going to, I've been trying to cut down on what I'm eating. I'm not exactly dieting, but just trying to get back to the way I was eating before my surgery. Eating healthier and I'm going to probably at some point get back to the gym. I haven't been going yet. I just have so much going on here because I'm going to go back to work here in a few weeks. And I have the farm and stuff, so I'm just dealing with that stuff and everything. So... That's about it, so I'll show you guys how I'm healing. Turn it here, let me get the light, so you better lighting, so you can see a little bit better. I don't know how well you can see, but you can see, this is late in the evening and this swells up right here. In the morning it's flatter, like pushed in, but by evening it's kind of swollen right in there. So, but, oh, it's horrible lighting. Let's see if I turn it this way, here we go. There's my belly button. It was taking a long time to heal, close up up here in a spot down here. But you can see it's already turning white right here. So that part's already healing really nice. And then my incision. This part, this side he healed faster. Healed first. So you can see it's healed really nice. Um, this side took a little bit longer. Especially right in here. I had some really deeper stretch marks. So it scabbed up for a long, quite a while right in that spot. But this side's looking good, too. I had an extended tummy tuck, so mine goes all the way to the behind my hip bone. Normally, they still... Let me put this down. <sighs> a regular tummy tuck. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm kind of too far away now. Ooh, I'm trying to get to where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's see if my phone stays. Normally, they go, like, hip bone to hip bone is your incision, but they extended mine all the way to there. Because I had... The flap that hung down. I showed you guys pictures in other videos. So, but yeah, basically they they put all this out. This was these did stick out like really far, like a lot bigger than my butt. My love handles, and now they don't. So now I actually can tell I have a butt. My butt looks nice and round back there. But yeah, it's just through here, and I need to lose some of this, so it will go in, so it look like that. It kind of looked like that at first, but now I think I've put on a little bit of weight through here, so. I'm back to wearing, starting to wear my corset. I'm getting ready to put it on for a few hours. And that'll help to curve it in. And then, plus diet and exercise, of course. So, but I'm feeling really good. Um, I go back in six weeks. And just to, she took some pictures this time, but just to show how everything's going. So by then, I'd like to get rid of this pooch right here, this puffiness I'm getting. I mean, I know it'll still swell, but I'm going to get some of that weight off probably like 10 pounds or so to probably look a lot better so um i'm going shopping this week to get some new clothes because all my work clothes oops, sorry guys all my work clothes are well the shirts are all like one x's 
and all my pants are like way too big like I have a few pair of shorts that I still like jeans that I can't fit in because when I lost weight before I could fit in them I could fit in them but I can't zip them up yet but it's more or less because of like um it hurts because of the where the incision is and stuff but uh I need to go get some more clothes because my shirts are all big because I'm big busted so like I wore bigger like and plus I had all that weight so my shirts stick out so it makes me look just as big as I did before so I want to get smaller shirts and some dress pants for work so I'm pretty excited about going and getting some clothes so but yeah I go back in six weeks and I actually get to see the doctor this time I haven't seen the doctor since my surgery day usually I see his like one of his I don't know assistants or whatever she is she did like took stitches on my belly button she like, checked my incision every time and took pictures and all that stuff and um so this time I get to see him, so I'm excited about that, See, just to thank him, and so he can see how I'm looking. I mean, he sees the pictures they take and everything, so, but that's about it now, for now that I can think of, guys. I mean, I'm allowed to do pretty much everything now, as long as it doesn't hurt, feel like it hurts, then I just got to take it a little easy. Other than that, I've been doing good. I mean, I'm not lifting, like, the 50-pound bags of feed for my animals yet, but, like, everything else I'm pretty much doing. I pick up my grandson. He's, like, 25 pounds. Um, do them all my housework, all my stuff around the house. Once in a while when I lay on this side, it's kind of funny because the top of my thigh is still numb, which I think that's probably from the liposuction. And, of course, everything has to rewire the nerves and stuff. But it, I'll have a sharp pain. It goes down my leg, and I asked her about that. She said that's normal. That's just because of the nerves and stuff. So that's the only thing I can really tell that I have it. And, of course, my stomach's still numb. Some places it's feeling starting to come back a little bit, but it's still pretty numb. My incision might probably be numb forever, I've been told. So, but anyways, anybody that has any questions, um, or anybody wants to know anything, um, I haven't made a video in several weeks, but I wanted to make one of this updated video and then I'll update you guys again, um, after I go to the doctor in the end in six weeks. So can't think of anything else. So just want to tell everybody, thank you. That's watched my videos about learning about my tummy tuck. And if you have any questions, leave it down below. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for the videos. And uh, everybody have a good summer. I'll see you guys in six weeks for this kind of video at least. Bye.